So I couldn't even last four days on a temporary job. I just, I really outdo myself. The last time I got like really depressed, you know, I rarely get uh, good job opportunities that seem to present themselves. I, I would say, okay, we'll go back a couple, but the, okay, the last time was getting rejected for fish processing twice from two different companies. The first one, um, the guy had us call in on a special day and I call in and just say, hey, yeah, I'm Travis Hines. Yeah, I'm ready to go to Alaska and, you know, process fish, whatever. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have anything for you. And that was it. I didn't question it. I kind of wanted to, but I just, my heart sank and my words escaped me. And uh, I thought I had a second chance. Uh, the first one was E and E Fisheries. The second one was uh, something. But uh, he said he would call us or email us, and I never received a call or email. Uh, uh, I never, I never checked back up on that. And then before that, I mean, there's off and on little, little uh, things, potential jobs and stuff. Um, there was a horse poop shoveling job in Ferndale, north of Seattle. She'd offer a free place to sleep if, if I just shovel her horse poop. But then I got an email later saying, yeah, after I, I responded, and then after, uh, I got an email later, it was all through email. She said, uh, I'm sorry, you don't, you don't look like you'll be the right fit for us. <laughs> I just can't seem to get anything. I just, I feel like, after listening to my great grandpa talk about his dad, I feel like like his dad. I don't even know what his dad looks it looked like, but this this guy couldn't hold on to a job, and <laughs> that's what my great grandpa would say. My great grandpa was a barber, okay, so he kept that barber job all his life, but his dad just couldn't keep a job. Apparently, he'd hang out with the horses all day. They would only go into town once once a week, and when they did. Uh, his dad would get a bu a bucket of beer, and just just uh, sit down with a ring of bologna and and drink his beer and and uh, have his bologna, but he could never get a job that stuck. And that seems like my story. I just can't seem to uh, get anything uh, that's secure. It's it's quite frustrating. Um, and I, I don't know if like uh, what, what what I just can't figure it out. Uh, um. I know, I know my personality. I, I really need to see different things, do different things. Okay, like this, this last one. Um, no, I I made a YouTube video. <laughs> it's probably it's probably not gonna help me making another video in response to having made the video about uh, getting getting uh, canned by the temp job. But uh, it's just I, I don't know. I really don't care about the privacy and and whatnot anymore. It's I used to work in retail for a while at Walmart and Menards. Uh, I got fired from both, but I mean, you still you're you're in the public all the time. It's like I see video as just being an extension of of working retail, and service industry is is growing. All right, you, you're just in America. The 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 um, industrial production and stuff, uh, manufacturing, all that's. It, the high-paying jobs really aren't there so much, and and retail, and and being uh, customer service is is taking over, and, and uh, a video is just an extension of of customer service to me. That's it. You're you're in the public answering questions, talking about stuff, selling products, whatever. I'm I'm just I'm just doing that on on the on the YouTube because it, it's just so seamless. I mean, I don't have to run this this little camera through anything it's like I'm just making a little video walking over to the to the internet and uploading it that's it simple just a little little diary notes uh, about being fired from a temporary job um, making a quick note of that maybe I can look at that five years from now I have no idea where I'll be five years from now I I uh, I don't have good hopes. Got to live in the moment. I can't think about five years from now. I just got to live in the moment. Uh, yeah.